boys and girls. Today I'd like to read you a story called Follow In My Paintbrush. It's actually a true story of a lady who was working as a cleaning lady in an artist's house in India. She learned by doing and she soon became a very good artist. Um, she's painting in the Mithila style of folk painting from Bihar, which is in a country called India. So, here we go, following my paintbrush. I am an artist, but I wasn't always one. This is the story of how it happened. When I was growing up, I did all kinds of work. My family was poor. I'm the little girl you see in this picture, walking with my mother. We worked in the rice field. At home, I help my mother cook and take care of all my brothers and sisters. When we didn't have enough food at home for everyone, our mother was sad. We went to the market and sold fish that my father caught. He was a fisherman. As my mother and I sat with our basket, people would come around arguing and bargaining for the best price. To earn more money, we worked in people's houses, washing their dishes. When I was done, I liked arranging the pots and pans in rows. Time passed and I grew up, but I did the same work. I had never gone to school, so I was not trained to do any other job. Sometimes I wished I could do something else. Every day was the same as it had been from the time I was a small girl. Still, there were some things I enjoyed. I liked children playing. On my way to work, I loved to stop and watch them. Then one day, I was passing the village pond. A strange thing happened. As I stood and looked at the children playing, the scene turned into a picture in my mind. It came alive, bright and lively, telling stories. I was happy the whole day thinking of my picture. Then another good thing happened. One day I went to work at a new house as a cleaning woman. It turned out that the woman I worked for was not an ordinary person, she was an artist. I saw her painting and I was so delighted that I forgot my own work. I could think of nothing else. When I reached home, my hands were itching to make something beautiful too. But I had no paper or paints, so I looked around and I found some mud near my hut. I took up a handful and began to knead it, smoothing and looking at it from all sides. And then slowly an idea formed in my mind and I began to turn the mud into something else. It was a bird. I had made a bird. The next day, when I came to work, my employer was taking a painting class. I was so excited about my bird that I found the courage to ask her, could I learn how to paint too? She said yes. What would I draw? I thought of the fish my mother and I used to sell in the market and the strange patterns on them. I would catch those fish in paint. It wasn't easy. At first I had to learn how to hold a brush. Since I had never learned to read and write, this felt very new to me. Then I had to get to know colours. Once I started, I couldn't stop practicing until I got to know the rules of painting. I've always worked very hard. Once I was confident of how to use my tools, I started to paint subjects that were popular in our village. Here's my painting 
of Nina Jogan, our local goddess of the eye, who keeps away bad luck. It seemed a good place to start. As time went on, I couldn't imagine a single day without painting. It was part of my life. I couldn't help it. I had to keep working. I found myself wandering around, following my paintbrush, turning what I remembered into pictures. My childhood. Children. The ice cream man. And so I keep painting and my days are enjoyable. One day I met some people who made books and they asked me how I became an artist. My way of telling stories is through painting. So I painted my story for you here. I was happy doing it, but more than that, I was so proud that people wanted to know about me and what I thought. And here is my final picture. The woman you see me painting is myself. I'm not just a cleaner woman. I am an artist. And this is the picture of the real woman who was the cleaning woman and the artist and who wrote this book. Hopefully in the next few days, I'll have a lesson for you to learn how to draw and paint in her style. <laughs>